Anna. I've been in Shanghai for coming up on five years. I started hairdressing around 10 years ago. I learned to cut hair in New York, um, but I kind of had an interest in it from friends and stuff when I was younger. Uh, but I quickly realized I didn't want to be a hairdresser. Uh, I didn't really enjoy highlights and blow dries. I kind of realized it's not really for me. So um, my first job out of school was in a barber shop and um, I just really enjoyed it. Um, so I started doing, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, just started working in a barber shop. Um, and then I got a job in another shop where they were doing shaving and all that kind of stuff. And uh, just opened a, a lot of doors um, to a different side of something that I, I wasn't really aware of before as well. So, um, but uh, then uh, an opportunity came up in Shanghai. My, my partner, she got offered a job here. So we moved out here and I kind of expected to already find barbershops here. Cause you know, being in Chinese, you, you, you search anything and you can't really find much. Um, but I came here and there was nothing. So uh, I started in a hair salon and I was back to doing highlights and blow dries and it just wore me down to the point that I was just like, okay, I have to do something. So uh, we kind of saw an opportunity, we saw a gap in the market. So um, myself and my, my friend, now business partner, just decided like, let's do it. So, so um, back in like the 20s and 30s, uh, Shanghai was kind of the heart of fashion and it was like really cool and all the barber shops were really, um, I think they were, really popular um, and then the Cultural Revolution basically um, happened and they all went to Hong Kong. Um, so that's why there's like the Shanghai Barber in Hong Kong and then everyone wanted, wanted the Shanghai Barbers because they were, they were the cool ones, you know. Um, and then it just kind of went out the window and then uh, I guess 80s and 90s salons were the thing because people wanted new, they wanted flashy, they wanted, um, you know, modern. Um, Shanghai, especially, you have every range. You have, you know, the street barbers charging five or ten RMB. You have hairdressers charging a thousand RMB. And so, actually, we're kind of we're mid to low end, actually. Um, even though it's the foreigners that always come in here and say, "Why is why are you so expensive? I would never pay that back home." And I'm like, "Well, you're not at home, and you know, it's not easy to run a business in China." So, um, yeah, it's. It's, it's interesting and then the barbering community as well is just really growing. It's only really really within the last year I would say because when we first opened nobody really kind of knew the, the concept of a barber shop um, and so we kind of it's kind of part of our job to kind of educate people a little bit especially our customers that no you don't have to have a shampoo first no you don't have to always you know you, you don't always get what you get in a salon you know so and they're kind of realizing like, oh, actually this is kind of cool. So when I came out here initially, I, I think I, I brought a pair of clippers and I brought my scissors. And I just kind of assumed, oh, I'll just get a, whatever I need. I'll get it when I get there. And then I got here and I kind of went, oh shit, I can't find it. So uh, trips home became uh, stocking up. Uh, shaving equipment still is really hard to find. Um, we've only just now uh, got in touch with a company who's uh, bringing in stuff like that. So but before we're always having to, to bring it ourselves. Um, but the, in terms of education, like uh, a lot of the, certainly the barbers that we have in the shop, um, they're all hairdressers uh, because you can, you can pretty much throw a rock and find a hairdresser in, in China. So uh, I've just kind of trained them basically how to use the clippers. I always used wall when I was cutting hair, so I know I have you know, many years experience using them anyways, and then uh, just showing the guys what a number one is, what a number two is, so that also when our, particularly our foreign customers come in and ask for a number one, they know what to do, you know. Um, so when Wall, uh, with Wall kind of just growing here, uh, I jumped right on board uh, with them that when, they, when they approached me, um, because I think education is really key. I think, uh, like what's happening in the rest of the world. There's uh, barbers going to school six weeks, eight weeks, and they want to walk into a shop and get paid thousands of pounds, you know, and <laughs> they kind of don't really understand the concept of hard work, the likes that, you know, uh, that we've gone through, you know, working as an assistant, working your way up, earning nothing, you know, and really w working hard. They don't understand that. Thanks.